I think for me, it was more of a short a search for what I wanted to do in life. And um, by surprise, I, I felt I have a thing for the sea. It's nice to be in the waters. It's nice to experience the sea life on the whole. I could say from the, the second day of using that sea moss, I felt a difference towards how I wake up in the morning. I used to wake up really tired, lousy. And um, I had more strength, I had energy to go for the day. And you know, I don't know exactly what all the, the minerals that might be in sea moss, but I could tell you it's a one, it's, a, it's definitely a superfood. In Grenada, sea moss is consumed in its gel form, meaning the dried sea moss is soaked over a period of time and then it turns into a gel which can be used for different drinks or beverages. Some of the risks associated with diving would have to be malfunction of equipment sometimes and exhaustion. Diving to the depths of the sea and coming back up at a constant pace could leave divers exhausted and with the rough tides that may or may not present itself, divers risk their lives sometimes retrieving sea moss. Harvesting sea moss from the rocks, it entails diving down and strategically pruning the sea moss. No more than 75% is harvested and it is used with a knife or scissors to prevent breaking off and damaging the sea moss source. How we harvest our sea moss from the rocks, we do it in such a way that we preserve the habitats of small crustaceans and sea life while being able to provide the market. You see, the wild craft, it acts as a food source and a habitat. The method we use in harvesting is used to preserve the source. Sea moss is always growing and due to its size, it tends to break off and go with the ocean tide. When we harvest, we manage to keep it at a sustainable size while preserving sea life's food source and their habitat. We, don't, we never harvest more than 50-75% of the wild crafted. So that way, we preserve the ecosystem and meet market demand. The main challenge that we face would have to be the weather. Because the sea moss is organically grown in the ocean, we are constant vigilant of the weather patterns. It's constantly fluctuating. So within the growing process, if bad weather were to occur, we raise the possibility of losing 50% or more of the product. Nothing in the Caribbean has ever been fake. I'm saying this in general based on who we are. So knowing that I have a product that gives you 100% of minerals from the pure Caribbean Sea is a good thing. And knowing that I could share it with other people is even great. And the fact that um, I'm promoting healthy living, you know, that I'm, um, I'm, I'm sharing, a, 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 I'm saving a brother, I'm saving a sister. I'm, healthy, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping humanity at, on, a, on a healthy level is one of the best things for me. So yeah, I really, I really like that. Hearing its testimonies, and knowing its benefits about improved energy levels, suppressed appetite. It would give me a sense of fulfillment if I were able to share this product with more persons worldwide.